But you don't see 16,300 fans or hear them yelling against you until game time, do you? Well, there's nothing like it. I think, <laughs> and as a player and as a coach, I think it's, it's, an, it's an opportunity. I think it's something that you look forward to. And, you know, there, there are challenges, and then there's the ultimate challenge. Mm -hmm. And to go into someone else's home, especially a rivalry of that nature, and, and try to steal one. And that's, you know, that was the mindset going in. Well, let's uh, jump into the highlights. Missouri and Kansas from this past Monday night at a raucous Allen Fieldhouse. And of course, with the KU, the, the big challenge, literally and physically, is Cole Aldrich. And he got this early basket, maybe a sign of things to come. He was a dominant player, wasn't he? Well, I'll he? tell you what, that, I thought that really got him going. And here we are with a good ball movement. And I think, you know, we answered their call. Keith knocks down the shot. And here's the penetration. And, and again, that's a nice cut mm -hmm. back. Now, those guys got to find Justin when we got good movement. And you can see early on, there's transition. Keith, and he's feeling pretty good. And he knocks down a shot, and we get a good lead. Coach, you're up 8-3, and the interesting thing, you know, Ramsey was just one of three from three-point range for the season. I'll be darned if he didn't knock down his first two in the first three minutes, so we hadn't seen him even shoot many. Well, again, it's the opportunity of what they were giving us. And, again, I thought at the beginning of the game, I thought we were doing some real good things, and then I thought we had some breakdown. Here they get a, a steal and go in transition and, and make a shot. Here we give up a layup uh, after they pinned the big guy on the backside there. Uh, but we had there so the things that took place for us. Opportunities to have a layup, and on the other end, they attack the basket and score. And they're good enough, too, maybe one of the few teams where if, if they beat their press, which is a big if, uh, they can score at the other end because they're pretty good in transition, aren't well, they? Well, no question about it. They are doing the things that, you know, we talk about attack basketball, and, and here we are with an opportunity to we created off our defense to, to get down the basket and, and score J.T. Tiller on the basket. Yeah, that was really nice. Another uh, look at the finish. I think Dixon had stolen it up to Denman over to Tiller for two. And, you know, you're hanging in there in that first half. You were stuck on 13 for a while. I remember that unlucky 13 number. But, you know, you're still uh, within range. We're right there. I, I, you know, last year we were down 16 at our place there. You know, they make a half-court shot yeah. right there going down the stretch, which I thought was big for them. Uh, the second half we come out, and I thought we came out with a better sense of urgency, really going after them. Here's Keith, they blocked the shot, but he stays with it. And then there's a stick back uh, on the opposite side by Zaire Taylor. Yeah, Zaire hanging in there. He made all seven of his free throws, and you see Ramsey against that big guy Aldrich. I mean, he's attacking. He's yeah, going at the basket. You have to, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. We didn't do that in the first half. I didn't think so. Nice reverse move there uh, for the basket for Ramsey. You know, he really showed some offense. We just don't see this much from him. And I know defense is his strong point. You probably look at that first and foremost, but he can put it in the can. He has that. He has that. And here they are. Uh, they attack our pressure defense and they get out of you. It's a little different when you got a cushion the way you play. Right. We, you know, in, in, in the second half, we cut it to, I think, 16 with a mm -hmm. chance to cut it to 13 on a shot by Zaire. And, but we just never could recover. And, and the big fella, I tell you what, he played probably one of his better games uh, uh, in, in a while. Well, there's no question about it. Aldrich, 12 points, and uh, I believe it was 16 rebounds, seven block shots. Justin Safford did score a career-high 19 points. I think when you just settle around the perimeter, and that's what we did in the first half. Uh, we just stayed on the perimeter with all our guys, and so there was no attacking. And we're an attacking mm -hmm. team, and more you attack. Uh, here last year, we got them in foul trouble because we attacked the basket. We let you know about our Missouri Employers Mutual Insurance Player of the Week, and that is the Southpaw from Bloomington, Illinois, the junior forward, Justin Safford. He had 11 rebounds in Missouri's win over Nebraska, then scored a career-high 19 points in the loss to Kansas. Safford averaging more than eight points and four boards per game. NEM, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.